clearly you've given us too much of a good thing, sir. Too much, Mr. Eiger. That's right, friends. Some of the, uh, they're talking about Disney and the CEO is talking about how good things are going. I'm just kidding. They're not going very good at all. In fact, they're looking real bad. Especially Disney Plus, Marvel, Lucasfilm, all churning out f flops, Pixar. Things aren't turning up Disney, but let's get in the article. Let's talk about it. Can we have too much of a good thing? I don't know. So Bob Iger is saying that Marvel diluted the audience's focus and attention by making so many Disney Plus shows. It's kind of weird, though, because... Now, I, I don't disagree with him necessarily because we got too many Disney, like, you got too many Marvel shows where you have to do homework to watch the rest of them. I, I think they lost track of the, we should just keep these as isolated incidences and maybe we don't need to, like, incorporate everybody else into every single thing that happened. You know, you think about Doctor Strange 2 and you had to watch WandaVision to understand what was going on with Doctor Strange 2. So if you didn't watch that, you wouldn't understand it. Just like if you're going to watch the Marvels, you had to watch Miss Marvel. If you didn't see Miss Marvel, and supposedly if you don't watch Secret Invasion, you won't understand. And I think making people do homework, not a good idea. It's nice to have callbacks for the super fans and the people who've watched everything. I've literally watched every single Marvel thing that's been released. There isn't one thing I have missed. I've watched every single movie, every single television show. I've reviewed all of them up here, somewhere in the ether. And I've even watched the one-shots. I've watched anything you can think of I have seen. Do I think it's diluted? I mean, it's, it's a difficult answer because when you're trying to do something like Disney+, Plus, you need shows to... Move, you, you need new stuff to get new subscribers, and clearly they're they're failing on that point as well. In fact, one of their most popular shows, Bluey and Bingo, they do not own. That is an Australia product that they just, I guess they're leasing it. So if Max wants to buy, I mean, if Max wants to move on the kids' side, they, they should buy that because it's, it's killing everything else. So one of the best properties isn't even owned by Disney. But Bob Iger is citing that the studio's output increase for Disney Plus is one reason for some disappointments, speaking of late. Some disappointments. I mean, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, didn't even reach 500 million. Now here you have Variety actually admitting that Disney is failing. Shocker. Uh, the Disney summer tent polls for Elemental and, Di and Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny not performing as well as they should have well if marvel's diluting itself i've never heard i mean i know what elemental is but elemental is a new ip that didn't dilute itself indiana jones only has four movies never should have made it fit technically there's there's really only three indiana jones but they did add a fourth which no one asked for and now they added a fifth which even less people asked for so I, it's interesting wh why he's coming at it. I mean, he can't just admit like, I mean, he sh maybe he should just admit like we've made some failings and we should move, you know, we should cut our losses. And it's, it's funny because Bob Iger has been doing cuts, but the whole reason why Bob Chapek got fired was because he was going to do cuts, but somehow Bob Chapek doing it is, or is bad. Bob Iger doing it is good. And he's saying that they tax their people way beyond what they what they were able to put out with uh, quality. And I don't. First of all, you hired a bunch of rejects. Like most of the stuff that was written on Disney Plus is pretty terrible. I can't think of a single Disney Plus series that was good. People, some people claim they like Loki. Think back. Tell me anything about Loki that you liked besides Loki. And, uh, wow, that guy. I mean, there's not much to like about it. And then 
I kind of liked Hawkeye. It was okay. But, and, you know, WandaVision was okay until the end. But what else have you seen that you... I didn't even know Secret Invasion was coming. In one of my reviews, I called it Secret Wars because I didn't even know. I just I had no idea. Miss Marvel was not good. People claim it was good. It was not. The first episode is good and interesting. And then they lose track of all of it that made it good and it turned into a terrible CW show. So I, I they just they're not putting out quality. Quality is what matters, not and quantity wouldn't matter if you had enough quality. And they're saying, oh, he's he has an excuse for everything, basically. He's saying, uh, you know, Marvel never been in the TV business, and now they're making a bunch of TV shows, and it diluted stuff and diluted focus and attention. No, it was just poor quality. She Hulk is an abomination to TV, to anything, right? And then you've got Pixar's Element. And he's talking about how Soul, Luca, and Turning Red all skipped theaters and went straight to streaming. Yeah, going straight to streaming is a problem. But when no one cares about what Element is, I, and I've never gotten to talk about this, but who makes a rom-com for kids? Other than Lady and the Tramp, I can't think of another rom-com for kids. In all honesty. Tell me in the comments below if I'm missing something, but... Kids aren't going to be interested in a romantic comedy. They're just not. It, it, it's not interesting to them. Boy Meets Girl is... You got to hide it in the rest of your story. Cinderella. That's not a rom-com. Like, you know what I mean? It's okay to have romance, but you can't... That can't be the focus of it. Right? And then, I mean, Indiana Jones is just... What are you doing? Why? Yo, and he was saying how great Quantum Mania was, and there's some new newness. And and the bigger problem, I think, comes back to them like, oh, we can just like move the mantle from someone else. And there's a lot of people who seem to believe that. In fact, the the woman, what's her name? Uh, there's a woman that they recently fired from Marvel, who's like the vice president of CGI or something like that. Alfonso or something like that. And she she's still the executive producer on Secret Invasion. And she's like, oh, the character doesn't matter. No one cares about Captain America. Just the mantle matters. The you know, moving it to someone else. Seems like the same thing they tried to do with Indiana Jones, where they tried to move the mantle of Indiana Jones. You know, Kathleen Kennedy moving it to uh Helen, whatever her name is, from Dial of Destiny, making a female Indiana Jones. When he wants to see that. This old junk. It's just interesting that he's coming up with excuses now. And I wanted to talk about it because I feel like if they had done things better, we'd still be interested. We wouldn't be seeing these flops. You know, did you really want to see Ant Man do non Ant Man things? Like, isn't the whole intriguing part about Ant Man is seeing him in the real world, like get real tiny and then get real big? And then to have his daughter kind of take over, like he loses all of his interest of what his ca uh, what his powers are, if he's in some tiny universe that we don't even know what's going on. I, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. And uh, you know, then you have Jonathan Major troubles. Like it's just it's you, you can't tie everything in together and not make it, you know when you made Thanos. I don't even think Josh Brolin was originally cast as Thanos. He. Thanos was just a character and they didn't really you know they sold the character first and then once they knew they were going to go into it then they hired Josh Brolin and then you got an amazing performance from him you didn't tease Kang at all nobody even knows what he is nobody even knows which Kang you're fighting because there's a million Kangs we can't all be Kangs it's Kang this side Kang left side so I don't know if dilution is really the problem I think execution is the problem but I could be wrong Maybe Bob Iger's right. Maybe he knows best. Maybe having less Star Wars and having less Marvel will do everybody good. I mean, it will because they suck. And I'll keep hate watching them because I do it for you guys. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Am I wrong? Am I right? Too much of a good thing? I don't know. I don't think I totally agree. But I could see where he's kind of right. But either way... Catch our live stream. It's 7.30 p.m. Friday nights, Eastern Standard Time. 
7.30. Uh, we have a full-length audio podcast. You can catch that too. It's free to you on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those great places and more. We love all y'all, but I'm going to fight with the next CEO because I am on to the next one. Oh, my God.